And we are back here in our nightly prayers this uh, April 8th. Uh, solar Eclipse Monday. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it was well, well, the world stood still, uh, really, when um, that eclipse happened this afternoon. At around 2 o'clock here in East Alton, it was... We thought that it was going to be covered uh, the entire sun will be blocked by the shadow of the moon but it didn't so it, there was a bit of a um, sunlight somewhere but it's somehow uh, it, it became a bit darker but not totally dark I'm, I'm sure uh, the pathway of that eclipse in some of the parts here in the States were uh, experienced and really that is something something else uh, but thanks be to god nothing happened <laughs> many many thought that it would be the end of the world already but no uh, you know the lord the lord will <clears throat> um still has many many plans for for this world and we just have to be prepared i mean if something really happened a while ago the question is are you ready to be with the lord okay uh, and you know the, the promises that has been uh, told in the scriptures that uh, we will be caught up there will be a rapture that will happen and all of his all of god's people will be taken up and uh, meet the lord in the air and it hasn't happened yet so um there's still time there is still time that that is what i believe and so let us let us keep on serving the Lord. Let us keep on believing that um, we we will be we are saved, not we will be saved, that we are already saved, that we have that confidence in the Lord that the promise of salvation was already given to us. Um, the moment, okay, the moment you uh, receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, okay, so. Um, that's that solar eclipse actually was a was is actually is part of uh, the signs of the times and they said after 21 years another 21 years of wait another uh, solar eclipse will happen so I don't know if I will still be alive <laughs> by that time <laughs> but you know um, anything can happen uh, as we just have to be, like I said, we just have to be prayerful. We just have to commit ourselves to God always. And um, this life should always be full of hope, love. And actually, the topic of reconciliation is in our midst tonight because that is the topic of our Bible study later. Okay, so uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is Pastor Ed Granadosen. And for those of you who have just tuned in for the very, very first time, I am your worship leader every night. This is uh, East Alton First and St. Paul United Methodist Church Nightly Prayer uh, and Virtual Fellowship Ministry from Mondays to Thursdays. Well, this Monday we started 6.30 because of the bowling ministry. <clears throat> My team was not able to join the, the, the league tonight. So what we did was uh, to pre-bowl and submit our scores to uh, the Monday League. So they are playing right now. And the rest of us, you know, uh, some of them went to a place wherein they would actually see the, a better angle of the solar eclipse. And so they were not able to come back. Okay, so um, tomorrow we... Again, of, of course, we usually start 6.30, and so we will do that 6.30. On Wednesday, it will be 6.30. But on Thursday, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up. Uh, hold on. Tomorrow will be at 5 o'clock. All right. Because we have this, this, this week is meeting week. Okay, I forgot. It is meeting week, so tomorrow we have a meeting, a church meeting. Uh, our SPRC um, committee will meet at 6.30. So 
we will meet at 5 o'clock. And then, um, Wednesday, I believe we will resume 6.30. And then Thursday again, we will meet at 5 o'clock. So please, mark your calendars. Put it in your your agenda that uh, you know, this, this week is a flexible week for our nightly prayers. Like I said, as much as possible, I don't want to cancel our uh, virtual fellowship uh, because we need to pray, you know? We, uh, you know. All your prayer requests are being met and um, uh, whether it be um, unspoken or given, we will continue to do the Lord's work, okay? So, thank you again for joining us. Uh, this is uh, the new day after that solar eclipse i hope that tomorrow will be a better uh better well the coming days will be better days for all of us full of hope full of love full of commitment and so just giving a shout out to our people tonight joyce acres is here joyce thank you and thank you by the way uh for hosting our uh, wonderful and talented artists yesterday uh, in our um, Music for Mission concert, it was such a wonderful night of music, entertainment, and of course, worship, all right? It was attended by, by like around 67 people who came from different churches. Uh, of course, St. Paul was there, and some some of their the, uh, uh, Piasa, United Methodist Church also was, uh, was there. Um, and of course, East Alton and the artists that came from uh, Moline, and of course, uh, our trumpeteer uh, Lemuel, who came from St. Louis, Missouri. It was such a, a wonderful night. I don't know if you were able to watch it last night because we posted it in this YouTube channel. And so just check it out Music for Mission concert. Just look for it. In, and uh, we. We actually have uh, the same YouTube channel, so you can just browse and uh, watch that link and be blessed, okay? So, uh, who else? Uh, Sunny and Lam, so sanggalang. Uh, nakapanood ba kayo last night, Sunny? Uh, Pastor Dean, of course. There you go, yes. Pastor Dean was there, he watched. And we are blessed, Pastor, that you can uh, actually come to church already. So we can, we will continue to pray for you. Nancy Shaw is here. Nancy, thank you very much for uh, volunteering. <laughs> Nancy did the the dirty work <laughs> in in uh, last night's concert. Uh, thank you for your heart of worship. I know that <clears throat> um, your family just went through. Uh, as a, a, a your your grieving time, but you were there, and we are blessed. And so, God bless you, and and um, we pray for for the love of Jesus Christ always with you <laughs> as we do His work. Uh, Jean, of course, also is th was there. Jean, Darlene, and Chris was there. Thank you for grazing our. Uh, inspiring concert last night, Debbie. Uh, did you? I, 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 I. Maybe you were out of town or something, but. Um. Um, I hope that uh, you're okay. And then, of course, for those of you, um, to watch that concert, Carol Rosenthal. Also, God bless you. Sally Sawiko is here. Rhonda Abara. Rhonda, how's it going? Okay, uh, Randall Rhodes, of course, is here uh, from Jackson, Missouri. <laughs> God bless you, Randall. Lani De Jesus, Michael Mare, of course. Uh, okay, yes, it didn't. Uh, Joyce, uh, but you have to have that uh, special... Uh, eyeglass so that you will see the transition of, of that uh, 
from light into being covered by the shadow of the moon. Okay, so those are our people night seven tonight seventeen. Of course, um, Emil Allegre in Australia. Uh, who else? Um, Maya Spinoza, of course, in Vancouver. And um, of course, our people, our our beloved uh, brothers and sisters in the Philippines. God bless you po sa inyong lahat. And uh, to God be the glory talaga. Uh, amen. <laughs> yes. So, as we are uh, waiting for the rest of our uh, prayer warriors, let me share this beautiful song. Let us worship with this song. Here we go. Sometimes life seems like words and music that can't quite become a song. So we cry inside and we try it again and wonder what could be wrong. But when we turn to the Lord at the end of ourselves, like we've done a time or two before We find His truth is the same As it has always been We never will need more It's not in trying but in trusting It's not in running but in resting
you know that song um revealed revealed to us two 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 kinds of lives okay one is um the earthly life and one is the heavenly life okay uh, why did i say earthly life well you know that tendency for us to try and try and try um, um, with, with regards to uh, situations in our lives of course we want to succeed uh, we want to we want to be to make something out of, of this life you know we and so we try we try our best to do it and then uh, when we fail uh, we try to run away from that failure uh, so that's again that's another uh, earthly culture and then uh, as we are running we are wondering where where should we go <laughs> <You know? laughs> and and that is the natural tendency of of our lives but then again uh, it it brings us to the the heavenly culture the divinely life the god culture which is just have to trust uh, if you keep on trying you know it's not about trying it's about trusting in god on what you want to do for your life right you have to trust god if this is if this if this life is is um is for the purpose of god then trust god that he will lead you and then um as you are uh, running <laughs> you're not supposed to run if you are trusting then you will find yourself resting in the comfort and guidance and spirit and love of of, of god in your life okay so the, the 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 heavenly culture will be we trust god and then you rest in god in his power in his love in his grace in his salvation you know you rest we rest on that and then of course instead of us uh going nowhere because of our running away and trying our best and wonder uh, the lord is telling us to pray okay it's a complete package it's a, it's a message already <laughs> for us to realize that this life should be led by the lord in these trying times you know I, i'm sure that solar eclipse that happened a lot of people um were panicking already uh, there there are some fanatics really who are seeing that it's a sign of god it's a sign of the end times it's a sign of of catastrophe or something uh, but for us you know um anything can happen if, if the world will explode tomorrow <laughs> we know where we are going right okay so let's just stay focused trust god rest on god and praying all the time all right so let me see if you have some new people who just tuned in uh edit kalio leo magandang umaga po sa inyo and of course, Bob D is here. God bless. Dali, galing kayo ng Japan, di ba, Bob? <laughs> Ang sarap, kakaingit. <laughs> and so, welcome. Uh, welcome home na ba? Uh, stay safe and thank you for joining us tonight. Ate Rowena De Leon, of course, is here. Ate Rowena, God bless you. Yes. Um, napanood mo yung concert <laughs> last night? Um, I will post it in in my wall probably for you for for all of you to watch and east alton and saint paul i'll share it so that you'll be able to watch it sally sabiko also is here all right salamat po sa inyong mga comments and we are now going to our bible study which is actually in the second letter of paul to the corinthians chapter 5 verses 18 to 19 and this is about, like I said, reconciliation. Verse 18, it says, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself. How? Through Christ. 
his one and only son, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That's hard. Ministry of reconciliation is one of the toughest ministries a pastor can ever go through. I'm sure that if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, reconciling yourself to people who have, you know, caused, caused you harm, um, caused you misery and pain, that's very, very hard. Uh, but Jesus actually experienced that. He experienced tremendous persecution, but he, um, he loved his father so much that he obeyed what he wanted to do is and that for his son to re to reconcile the world and god okay so so god this is god this is the world and this is jesus christ in the middle and for us to to um, be able to cross the bridge um through our acknowledgement of Jesus Christ's death or suffering death and resurrection, you know, we will now be reconciled with God. And that is the purpose. Why Jesus came here on earth uh, in the first place. Verse 19, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ. Yeah, there you go. That's the explanation. Not counting people's sins against them. No, um... Uh, we are all sinners saved by grace. At one point, we sin to us is a, a culture. Sin to us is a way of life. Okay? But I'm not saying that um, I, I am a perfect person or I am not committing any sins anymore. Um, that's, that's the challenging part. This life still is bound to commit mistakes and, and sin and, and sometimes we forget ourselves that Jesus is, in, is living in our hearts and yet we still do things that are against God and so uh, we are prone to, to uh, this kind of situation but God knows our hearts and as, as we as Jesus reconciled us to, to his father then we have that capability we are the well we are the only creation of god that uh is able to respond to god and um uh when we we can worship we can we can glorify god and at the same time curse god you know that kind of culture the animals cannot do that but then again since God wants to reconcile us with Him. Christ did it for us. Uh, and He has committed to us the message of reconciliation. That's why He died on the cross. He reconciled us through His sacrifices. And of course, His death and uh, what completed our life is his resurrection that if we believe in the resurrected christ then we are already saved okay so that's the message for us tonight reconcile reconcile yourself with others reconcile yourself with your enemies reconcile yourself with your families and friends and of course reconcile yourself with God in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to check out this passage, this is in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 to 19. This is the word of the Lord. What do we say? Thanks be to God. Okay, let me just adjust my camera because I am too close to it. There you go. This is better. <laughs> okay. I think we are ready to pray. And let us now come before our Holy Lord. And let His power 
and love speak to our hearts as we pray for the world and pray for one another. Could you pray with me, most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you very much for uh, speaking to our hearts tonight once again. Uh, the, the ministry of reconciliation is what uh, you want to impart in our, in our hearts tonight. And so help us to yield, help us to conform ourselves to what you want because this is uh, godly, this is pleasing to your sight, and this is how we worship you. Thank you, Father, for the presence of our brothers and sisters uh, tonight in our live chat. Thank you also, Lord, for a successful um, Sunday worship, and baptism. We had a baptism yesterday, and of course, the concert that we had. Uh, music for Mission. Thank you, Lord, for the artist, of course, headed by Pastor Janice Seraphica of Moline. Um, Bethel, uh, United Methodist Church in Moline. And Alexis, Paul, uh, and Lemuel Johnson. Okay, I, I remember Alexis Fay and uh, Paul Cassiano and of course Drew who was there to uh, minister to the people and I believe that the message was delivered and so thank you and we, we look forward to another concert next Sunday be with us as we are traveling all of us will be traveling um, in Kankakee United Methodist Church bless that concert as well as well and our last concert will be in Chicago bless us as well thank you father for uh, being with us tonight of course and uh, with our prayer warriors we continue to pray for each and every one in this in our list father we pray for now for peace and reconciliation Israel Lord God uh, be with be with your people and uh, speak to the hearts of uh, everyone, Lord God, both parties, they need to forgive each other and to honor you as Lord. Um, praying, of course, for Ben Mendoza, uh, Ruth, sister of Dorothy K. Singer. Uh, praying for Bob Gowen, Jerry Heeren. Debbie Kramer, Jim Funky, of course, Virginia Rob Crox, Virginia and Rob Croxford, Kuya Mario Papilla, uh, praying for um, Carter Whipple, Lois Leedy, Monica Arnold, and Leslie Palmer. Continue to pray, of course, for Frank Akers and Joyce uh, and, and their ministry. Lucy Haley. Betty Lewis, Susan Rowe, Christine Arbuthnot, praying for Denise Smiths, Joy Peterson, Bill Dane Riley, and Sam Abara, Lord God. Pray for uh, Rhonda and their entire family, Lord. This, these are challenging times, Father, and so we pray for your power upon um, each and every one. We continue to pray, of course, for Russell Kodia, Myron Shackey, Father Glenn Grigsby, Cherry Hartsock, Larry Kemp, Jim Hartsock, Patty and Ross Huff. Praying, of course, for Mrs. Lourdes de la Cruz, John Tharp, Don Stanley. Praying for um, Aaron Inkerman, Chris Sarandis, Vicky Matlock, Betty Cardenas, Helen Hammond, Judy Long. Father God, we pray for Madison Smith, Ella Duggar. Olive Williams, Wendy Eicherman, uh, Lelda Duckworth, Father, Pastor Chad Cox, Raya Cook, Father, we are praising you and thanking you for Jackson Carr. He is indeed doing very, very well. And so the family is, is actually told me to um, take him off in our our prayer list because he is, he is now fully recovered and so thank you for hearing our prayers just be with Jackson Lord God and their family 
and make Jackson stronger than ever. And and for for that story of his victory over his sickness to be your powerful message to the world that indeed you are God, you are our savior, you are our you are our um Lord, so please, Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers for Jackson. Continue to pray for Ellie Runyon, Lynn Stewart, Jan and John Brazier, Mark Cassidy, of course, Lillian Carter and Ella Reno, Sandy Wilson, Diana Hill, <coughs> Georgian Cassidy, and of course, Sherry Howarth, who is in the hospital this very moment. We are praying for healing in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Our cancer patients, Carla Klaustermeyer, Reverend Dean Blackburn, of course, Kathy Beely Smith, Pam Blender, Denise Ford Smith, Jennifer, cousin of Angela Sarandis, Michelle Dooley, Lori Wright, praying for Joy Lutz, Mike Burns, <clears throat> Gideon, and of course, baby James Henry. Our kidney patients, Kedan Manganti, Romel Banag, my brother Charles Granadosen. RJ, Sally Sawito's son, all our frontliners, military personnel, and healthcare workers. Praying for all of our church leaders, especially Lord, our Bishop of the IGRC, Bishop Frank Beard, his family, and his cabinet. Pray, Father, for all of our pastors, lay leaders, lay ministers, uh, district superintendents. We know, Father, that you have more intentions for us to do to um, uh, spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Lord, again, thank you for tonight. Thank you for blessing us. And again, we pray all these in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us to pray. Everyone, please, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen and amen okay maraming salamat po at sa inyong pagsama sa akin ngayong gabi god bless you and we will see you tomorrow at five o'clock because we have a meeting at 6 30 just mark your calendars i usually I uh, send you the link in our uh, Facebook uh, live uh, chat. So just uh, hang on to that. Again, maraming salamat po. Uh, my name is Pastor Ed Granadosin. And on behalf of our churches here, uh, East Elm First and St. Paul United Methodist Church, our praises and glory to our God. Remember, keep on hoping, keep on praying. Keep on serving and keep on loving God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat and we will see you tomorrow. Good night and to God be the glory. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift His countenance upon you. to shine upon you and be gracious, and be gracious to you and be gracious the Lord be gracious gracious us.